Hi everyone, it's Kyle and Olivia. We are members of our animal welfare science team. Working closely with our wildlife care teams, it is our job to ensure we are using an evidence-based scientific approach to ensure a holistic care for all of our animals. On this second day of Science Against Misinformation Week, we are here to debunk common misinformation about animal behavior here at your Toronto Zoo. We are here at our given habitat and a common myth that we hear is that our habitats are too small. Think of going to a soccer field. Yes, they are very spacious. But what can you do with all that space? Now think of a park with a jungle gym. There are monkey bars, swings, slides, lots of features, complexity, and choice. This is what we like to replicate within our habitats. I'm down here at the grizzly bear habitat and another myth that we hear a lot is that all of our animals that live alone are in fact lonely. Many species do not live in family or social groups and actually prefer to live alone. For example, grizzly bears like Shinte live alone only interacting with other bears due to competition, mating, or raising young. Here at the lion habitat, a common myth that we hear is that they're sleeping, they're doing nothing, they must be bored. Many animals, such as lions, spend much of their day resting. In fact, wild lions can spend up to 20 hours a day sleeping or resting. I'm here at the otter habitat and another myth that we hear all the time is that the animals that inhabit our zoo would be better off if they were just released into the wild. Almost all the animals that call the Toronto Zoo home were either born in the zoo or were rescued from the wild and deemed non-releasable. Because of this, the animals living here do not possess the skills or abilities required to survive in the wild. Animals in zoos are also free of predators, receive world-class medical care, and in the case of polar bears, do not have to deal with the constant threat of starvation due to climate change. One of the goals of your Toronto Zoo is to provide an environment that is within the adaptive range of each of our individual animals. This is accomplished by promoting good animal welfare practice. Thank you for learning about animal welfare science at your Toronto Zoo.